everyone welcome back to RTS and welcome back to another start to finish video using the load event yes load 219 is in the house and so we are going to work on day three and so of course you know there is no time to lollygag you can't be just uh, sitting there twiddling your thumbs you have to get a layout done <laughs> so let's get right to it and so the prompt for today is of course our theme is uh, Ruby Red Scissors, There's No Place Like Home to Scrapbook. And so up today is Auntie M. And so Alice says Auntie M was a really big softie and she was really caring. So tell a story of something misunderstood or who is a big softie in your life, which that is too precious. Or you could also use something big and soft or something that feels soft on your page. Now, how about that for a technique prompt? Yes, I remember not so long ago, I did a page where I was talking about our little, uh, our idea of a pet and I used a little, uh, a little piece of flower that was very fuzzy and it reminded me of that layout when she was talking about that. So, uh, so Auntie M, even though she sometimes was a rough and gruff, but she really was a big softy. And then also, too, you could tell the story of something that's misunderstood or someone that's under misunderstood. And you know what I'm going to do a layout today? I'm going to do it on about, I think, as scrapbookers, we are misunderstood. And that is not the first uh, layout that came into my mind. The other one was something about, uh, in my personal life, how I'm misunderstood as someone that is a highly oversensitive type person. I think that's misunderstood. Um, but that journaling is a little hot and heavy for me today. <laughs> and I don't want to do a layout and then keep that on my pile to journal. Uh, you know, I want to do my journaling sooner than later. So what I did was... As I grabbed my scrappy notebook and under my tab that says layout and stories, I absolutely wrote down that prompt, misunderstood, load uh, 2019, day three. And I will know that I want to do that layout in the future. I don't have time today, but that's why I love load because I get more than one layout idea. And I really want to do that layout because it, it's just something I've battled with my whole life. You know, you get told um, you wear your emotions on your sleeves and... Yeah, I don't wear them on my sleeves. I wear them on most sleeves and my kneecaps. Yes, I'm just a very highly sensitive person. And so, um, but again, that is what came to my mind at first. But I really just don't have the time today to dig into that. That's a little bit more of I want to do. So the next thing that came into my mind is as scrapbookers, how we're misunderstood. And so I went to uh, my photo bin. And this is where I keep leftover photos, and I'll be talking about that in our photo series. And it is nothing but about scrapbooking, anything that has to do with me and scrapbooking. And uh, here to my left, I even have some photos of my scrappy friends that I have met, you know, online friends that I have met in real life and that I've talked with. I don't have permission to show those photos, but um, I may put a couple of those on this layout. And this may end up being a two-page spread. I didn't plan for that. In load, I try not to do two pages because you got to get it done. But what I have here, is just leftover pictures of when uh, consulting days, the first scrapbook store I ever went to, uh, scrapbooking with friends, holding crops, uh, traveling and scrapping and selfies and layouts and organizing and cameras and all that stuff that we do as scrapbookers. And I think a lot of times we are misunderstood. I think sometimes we're made fun of, but that's what I'm going to do my page on today. So what did I do? I absolutely printed the latest page map sketches. This is a free resource. I will have it linked below. Look at all these uh, sketch ideas for free. Yes. And I think I may do something as simple as a 12 by 12 double page sketch. We will see. And so then of course, you know, this is for load it has to be quick decision. So I went to my paper category called a crafting and I'll have a video linked below where I talked about my paper categories. So I could have went to crafting or I could have went to documenting, but I just went to the first one. It was crafting and something caught my eye. <laughs> You know, I'm all about mood and feel people. That is just, again, I'm highly sensitive. <laughs> I'm overly sensitive. I'm very in tune with my feelings. So I think that's where the whole mood and feel comes from. But uh, anyways, so you want to know what paper caught my eye? And this is a very bold paper. It is this one right here. It reminded me 
of graffiti. I mean, doesn't that remind you of graffiti? And you know, a lot of times people that do graffiti is because they're misunderstood or they want to be uh, understood. And so this just really uh, popped out at me and I thought, boy, this is out of my comfort zone, but let's run with it. Because again, we don't have time. I have lots of photos I can choose from. And so then what was, what else was in that paper category as far as this, um, my mind's, my mind's eye jubilee. And this was uh, created by Jen Allison, which I think she's now creating for Carabella and Echo Park. And <laughs> yes, uh, we'll talk more about that coming up. But 2014. Okay, so I found these papers. And this is what I'm going to use for this misunderstood as scrapbookers. I'll talk more about that prompt because, uh, yes, I've been thinking about that. And this is why I love load. I would have never in a million years. I mean, I, I keep my leftover photos because I do... Um, you know, month in review and I do comparison photos, I do reflective journaling, things like that. But I would not have took this and uh, put it with the prompt of how as scrapbookers and crafters, I think we're misunderstood and love that. Just, just love that. And so then also this one right here, because it definitely looks crafty. Okay. I like those two papers. So, um, do you think I could pull this off and do a two page spread Ugh, for day three of load? I don't know. I probably could because when I do the load event, even though the preface of the load event is to do a layout a day and post it, I do it just for the inspiration and the motivation. I don't do it to win a prize. So if I put this up on day 10, I'm good. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. And so I really think because I have so much color in all of these photos, I mean, yeah, I have a lot, a lot, you know, and there's just so many things we do as scrapbookers and crafters. And I think we are totally misunderstood. And if you agree with that, Hit the thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> Let's tell the world we're misunderstood. So that's what my layout's going to be about today. I just, I absolutely love this. And I, again, I have some photos to my left here. Uh, some of my precious online friends I've got to meet. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And so now what will I do with embe for embellishments? Because I have my paper picked out. Is that I honestly want to get some cameras on there, of course. And so I had just talked about these in another video, so they were fresh on my mind. And it was these Freckle Fawn cameras, these puffy cameras. And so this is the Puffy Doodle. Really kind of goes with the graffiti look, but I have these. And then this was just right beside each other. Look at all that color. So those are the two things I'm going to play with. And then the other thing is, since this is a collection of My Mind's Eye Jubilee, I think this was what was called Wild Berry. Let me double check wild berry because you know my mind's eye used to have it that they would have a collection and then they would have four subcategories it was confusing but uh anyways uh i also thought what i would do is pull out uh one of my uh, binders and i think i have some of this collection as far as stickers and chipboard so i pulled it out and i thought well do i have stickers or chipboard and this is just my multicolored one okay so i'm gonna go back to my chipboard here and i believe see right there it is and that is how quick it is to find things when you store them how your brain thinks and everybody's different that's how my brain thinks multicolor for this collection and right there is some pieces and we'll see what we come up with but i'm not going to look very far but i do want to play with some chipboard i don't know i've just been in the mood to play with chipboard lately and then the other thing i thought since uh, i have cameras and this is talk about scrapbookers so i thought about pulling out my jar of frames and maybe i would do a decorative element using the frames and so this is how i have some of my chipboard frames just in a jar and so i'm going to get that out and play with that maybe what i could do is I could pull out a frame in every one of these colors. You see what I'm saying? Because right here is the turquoise. And it doesn't matter if it says destination. I will cover that up. And so I could get a frame with every one of those colors. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if we could... I'm sure we could come up with something. Yeah. Okay. So that is my plan. I will come back. Of course, you know, I'm going to sit here and play now. <laughs> I will come back with a, a finished layout using this mint, uh, my mind's eye Jubilee wild berry collection. And it has been, it's been in my stash for some time. See, there's that lime green. Oh yeah. I really think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if I could find that fuchsia, but I have a whole jar I could look at. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. And I have all these photos. I may even pull out a two page spread for load day three, play with some puffy stickers, play with some frames, get some cameras on there and uh, yeah, let's get wild. <laughs> okay. So I will be back with a finished page. Okay. I am back with my finished two page spread for load day three using the prompt 
misunderstood. Yes, now I absolutely love how this page turned out, even though these colors, you need a pair of sunglasses to look at, but it's all fun. Yes, it's definitely fun to do something that you don't normally do and you and do. And using these neon colors is not something I normally do. So uh, first of all, I have 12 photos on a two page spread. That never gets old, does it? And then second of all, I used a collection that had been in my stash for a while using my mind's eye. And then a uh, third, doing a, a layout about us as, as scrapbookers and using leftover photos. Just love that. Okay, so let's talk about the page because the page looks very busy, very bold, but it's very, very simple because my background is simply three pieces of paper and they're just in the block design and it's just a mat with a mat on my cardstock. That's, that is all it is. And I kept it very simple because this is the load event. My pages have to be simple. And I knew I had so much color, so I had to calm down everything else. And so I didn't get hot and heavy with the page design. I just used my patterns and block form. And the same way here, I took that uh, pattern on some geometrics and then on my lime green cardstock. <laughs> now, I can't even tell you when the last time I used lime green basil cardstock, but it works for this page, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, so if you will see that with my pattern here, I have turquoise triangles. And then on the right, I have these uh, paint splotches. Splotches? Splotches? Splatters. <laughs> and then I put that on top of black triangles. And the reason I put the black over here was to balance the heavy, big black title over here on the left. So absolutely. Now uh, you'll see that I did indeed use those frames that I had talked about in the previous segment. And so then of course I added one here to the left, give a little bit of a balance. Of course, use that lime green to bring in the background. And then I just took every one of my photos, put them on a mat. And this one I have covered up because I'm not quite sure if I can, you, you know, put this on YouTube, but, um, just absolutely an adorable photo of some scrapbookers where we got together one day and uh, it's just a silly photo and it just goes right along with this page just love how it turned out and then I did every one of my photos in a sporadic fashion they were cattywampus the same way as my frames and then I added some simple stories little uh, washi tape that really just are stickers but they look like washi tape strips and I just put that on every so many photos and so then of course I just added some cameras some enamel dots a couple labels another planner piece that says may and the reason i used may because may is national scrapbook uh, day we have so i just added that you know a little fun touch and then of course added my journaling now did i gut any of these papers well of course for the text one i didn't but these two triangle pieces i absolutely did cut because this is my mind's eye paper from what 2014 and they absolutely back then their paper was premier so I did gut that much and that much because I can use those, okay? And I did not need three pieces of paper in that size for stability because uh, it's just really good paper weight. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I will have my journaling, journaling listed below and I absolutely suggest scrap lift this page, <laughs> do one for yourself as to why perhaps you yourself is, uh, you know, you're misunderstood as a scrapbooker. And of course I have a couple of little notes here but i have we are great storytellers extremely creative frugal when needed organizing gurus very generous high energy intelligent tech savvy and also the recorders of family history misunderstood you bet but that will never stop us no <laughs> we won't and so i'm so glad that the load prompt prompted me to do this page and again it's just leftovers so now i did have some other photos because i pulled out a pile to do this and i have all these leftovers so what will happen with these they will absolutely go back where i had them before in my leftover and they, it's just leftover and i have a category of leftover scrappy photos and it just says scrapbooking and that's just where i put all this scrapbooking crafting that type of thing and then of course i had leftover papers and this is how many I have left over. And so since I have this many left over, they will just absolutely go back into that paper category because that is plenty to do another probably three or four more pages. So I'll just put that collection back where I had it in my crafting paper category. Now, I wanted to say one more thing is that how did I know where to go for lime green 
because there are some elements here for lime green and I wanted to say this because this was something I ran into my process a few years ago and so of course you know I show all the time I show these little color bins color drawers okay and this is green okay but there is not room in here because in my scrap space I have green in three different shades I have just regular green and then I have my mint green which I definitely want it separate because I love my mint green and then I have lime green so I have a little note here in my bin and it stays on the top and it says mint green lime green in your color box and so I knew if that I wanted lime green which is what I use for this page I had to go to my color box which is just a photo box of supplies and I had uh, I have a couple bags and in these bags is nothing but lime green embellishments because I don't want this lime green in with this green and I don't want my mint green mixed in so I knew a few years ago there was a couple colors in my space that I had to divvy up pink is one and green was another because there was so many different shades of green and I did not want to see lime green every time I looked at some of my green embellishments so I separated them up but that is how quick I found my lime green because I had a representation I had a note I had a reference sheet of where to go to look for that so in your space if you have to have something put away and you don't have the space to your left or to your right or to in front of you it's okay to make yourself little notes as to where you need to go to get them that is what I do yes I need to make a note where my coral is because I keep forgetting I put coral in with my dark pink box so I just wanted to mention that and then also too I did use these frames as I I suggested some are on foam tape because these get a little bulky when you're layering frame on top of frame so some of these are on foam tape and some of them are just absolutely adhered using my tacky glue absolutely love that okay so I think that is all I have I will have my journaling listed below uh, I say scrap lift and do one of these pages yourself about your hobby why you love it and why you think we're misunderstood yes we're just not uh, crazy cat ladies no we absolutely do some beautiful things and our family appreciates that so and one other thing old school I have some of these photos are older because they span several years is that in one of my photos because I'm light skinned and blonde hair uh, my eyes uh, back in pre-digital days uh, my photos in my, my eyes were always red and so remember we used to have a product called uh, these red eye reducer pens well, they call them red eye retouching pens. And so I, I saw this and I thought, hmm, wonder if these pens still work. And you know, it really does. <laughs> so how you can test to see if your pen still has this retouching fluid in it is just put it on some white cardstock and you'll see, see plenty, it's still juicy. There's still plenty in there. And then I don't even know if you can buy these anymore, but um, you just take it right over where the red eye is. And it works good for me because my eyes are blue. Uh, and it gives you a little bit of tint of blue there but it said it takes the red out a little bit but do you remember these <laughs> these uh they called it flashpoint red eye retouching pen we just called them red eye uh, red eye pens do you remember that how fun that i actually still had that and it's just in my tool caddy so anyways uh, i did use some of these freckled fawn puffies and i do suggest with any type of puffy nowadays you might as well just add a little bit more adhesive yes absolutely okay so that is my two page spread for load day three that means day four will be coming up but we have some other things going on in between those days so just hit the notification bell because everything will be happening yes okay and so i think that is it i think day four and day five of load i will be combining because it's basically for me it will be the same prompt so come back to rts because you never know what we're gonna do bye